it's Scott Balkum here and I'm with Kessler Crane today and we're going over the exciting ability for Cine Shooter to now control up to eight axes using the power of Kessler Chaos. Kessler Cine Shooter with Chaos is currently the only eight axis capable motion control rig in production under $50,000. Now, why might you want eight axis when you already have five in Cine Shooter? Well, Quite simply, it's more options for motion. Sure, you can easily get to six axes using pan, tilt, roll, focus, zoom, and then add a slider. But did you ever consider animating your products? Animate your lights? Your props? The doors to creativity open wide when you don't just have to limit yourself to just moving a camera. Here's a quick little example using eight axis. On this quick shot, we used pan, tilt, zoom, focus, and slide on the city shooter. And then on the second shooter pro, we used a pan and tilt on a turntable to both rotate and angle the shoots towards the camera. And then we added a pan motor overhead to rotate the lights over the shoes. And the best part is you only needed to run one thin cable from the city shooter to the second shooter pro. This makes cable management fast and easy. So let me show you how easy it is to get going with eight axis. To use the extra three axis on Cine Shooter, you'll need a Second Shooter Pro or a Second Shooter Plus and a Cine Shooter to Second Shooter interconnection cable. It'll have a Limo connection on one end and an RJ11 on the other. And cables are available in lengths from 20 to 100 feet. Now this cable is only available at Kessler. Please don't use any other cable as you can cause damage to your units. Now, the first thing you need to do is download the latest release of Chaos and install it. Then you'll need to connect your Second Shooter Pro to your computer and update to the latest firmware. Then update your Cine Shooter to the latest firmware as well. Once they're both updated, place the Second Shooter Pro into Slave 2 mode by going down to the More option and selecting Slave 2. Then plug in the RJ11 into either port on the Second Shooter. And then plug the other end of the cable into the Cine Shooter and power it up. The two units can be separated as far as the cable will permit. Next, connect your Cine Shooter from your computer via USB or Wi-Fi or from iPad via Wi-Fi. Open Chaos and you should now see 8-axis appear at the bottom. Now, just let your imagination flow freely and create your 8-axis moves as easy as before in Chaos. And if you'd like more than 8-axis, just let Kessler know. I'm pretty sure they can get even more access out of their systems. They just need to know that, well, you need it. And uh, just a little tease, I'm working on recreating the opening credit scene from Gone in 60 Seconds using the power of Kessler Cine Shooter and Chaos, and maybe just a few extra Kessler parts in there as well. It's kind of amazing. And if you have any questions along the way, reach out to the great folks at Kessler at KesslerCrane.com. We can't wait to see what you do with your 8-axis Cine Shooter and the power of Kessler Chaos. Mm -hmm.